Good morning, everyone. Today we are thrifting at Value Village. So join me and we'll see what kind of treasures we can find today. If we can find anything good for me, for you. See what happens. Let's go. So I thought I'd take a quick look at the dolls to see if there was any interesting there or anything. That one was actually really, really pretty, but um, uh, yeah, I don't really touch dolls for resale, but um, these were beautiful plates from England. I thought those were just gorgeous. Very, very nice. And then I found this little box here for $3.99, and there was no markings on the back, so it was very pretty, but I decided against that one. And then they had this little guy here. I think he was homemade, just hand-painted. And then just some more little knickknacks there. And then these were very interesting. Those were soap carvings. Look like a seal and maybe an Eskimo for $7.99. And they actually had two of them, so there's a pair. But they were super heavy, so to ship those out would be crazy. <laughs> that was really pretty. And this was a nice tile from Italy. Very, very pretty for $3.99. And just more, some more plates and knickknacks. I loved this elephant, loved the color, loved the decor on it, the decorations, so I definitely picked that up. And this was really interesting too, until I picked it up and it was actually full of perfume. <laughs> it was a perfume bottle. Pretty though. This is a nice little dish too, with some bees on it, but no markings on the back of it. And then what else did we find here? Oh, this dish was just beautiful. I love the colors. Very, very pretty. And then this was actually quite interesting. It was a three pack. It was like a little train and it was my first curl, my first tooth. And I don't know what the last one was, but I thought that was just so cute for a newborn. And then off to the pictures, we found these interesting little ones for the kitchen. There's some cheese. And what is this is cheese and cheese and more cheese. <laughs> Interesting pictures for the kitchen, I guess. Some oils and foods and cheese. <laughs> Nothing really that grabbed my eye too, too much here, the pictures. I always take a look just to see if there's anything. And nothing really caught my eye. So this was actually kind of neat. I think it was just somebody had done it as an art project, but love the colors. I thought it was really pretty. I tend to wine a lot. And yeah, and I thought this one was actually really pretty as well. I love the flowers. It was just a print though. It would have been nice if it was hand painted, but it was just a print, but really pretty. So, and then off to the little knickknack area to see what else we can find. These little froggies here. And I think this, this was the candle holders, the candles and candle holder section. Not too, too much in this section. That was kind of different, kind of like a little centerpiece for candles. It was pretty. These were really cute. A little, a little candle set, tea light set. Almost looked like uh, bookends <laughs> that you would put little tea lights in. Those were pretty. And I think this was just kind of like a scentsy, I think is what it was. It was still packaged, but um, not too much resale value in that. So I put that back. Those are really pretty, those candle holders. And what else do we have here? Not too much there. I thought this was a very, very pretty candle holder. A little peacock, bird. I don't know if it's a peacock or it's, it's a bird anyways. And this I should have picked up for $2.99. I'm just, oh, I'm so upset. It is a WMF Ikora dish, yeah. <laughs> I should have picked this up because the comp's selling for 40 bucks. So yeah, I should have picked that up. This was a cute little cow. And this little guy was just hanging around. And off to the vases. That was a really nice one, very heavy. And these were kind of neat, I guess. Those were kind of homemade, it almost looked like. And then off to the glass, the vases. There's some nice blue ones there. Always take a look at the colored glass. And then of course we've got just the regular glass as well. And see if there's any crystals, anything. These were actually very pretty. Those were studios, very, very pretty vases. The flowers on the side. This was actually really cute. It looked like it was hand painted. 
I think it was just homemade though, but really cute and pretty. And just some more vases. This one was nice, but no markings on the back, so. And then off to the dishes. I thought this was super pretty, very pretty. But as you can see, it was supposed to be times four and there was only two plates there. Otherwise, I think I would have bought them if all four were there, but only two were there. They were gorgeous, I really like those. And just some other dishes. Those were actually really pretty as well. Very, I was actually really impressed. The dishes that they had this time around were just gorgeous. Really, really pretty, some pretty bowls. Um, most of the items were made in China. Um, I believe these ones actually were, or those ones I think were China. Um, but I did find some that were made in Japan. I think they're coming up here. I think it's these ones. These ones were the made in Japan. Those were really pretty. Yeah, I was, I was really, really impressed with their selection of dishware this time around. Such pretty, pretty, I think those were England. Really, really pretty. Nice, nice decorations on them, flowers. Really, really like those. And then I found another dish here. That was really pretty. And this one I took a peek at, but there was no markings on the back, so I decided against it. And this one was actually made in Czechoslovakia, I do believe. That was actually really pretty. I should have picked that one up. And I moved that bowl out of the way so I could actually grab this. I just thought this was beautiful. Look at the colors in this. I just thought it was gorgeous. So I definitely had to pick this up. That definitely went in the cart. <laughs> Love the colors. And some more platters and dishes, dishware. That one was gorgeous too. Love the colors. Very nice. Um, no markings, just a name. So I think that was maybe just homemade. And this was gorgeous too, this pot. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it actually went with that dish. It was really, really pretty. It was very heavy. <laughs> Love the colors in that though. Just gorgeous. And these were some cute little salt and pepper shakers from the Bahamas. <laughs> or somewhere warm, maybe Hawaii. This was really pretty. I believe this one was made in Portugal, if I can remember correctly. Or oh, Romania, I'm sorry, that one was Romania. I should have picked that one up. That was actually really pretty. Really, really pretty. I think this one was maybe, oh no, that one doesn't have any markings. No, there was one item that said made in Portugal. I can't remember which one it was. There's some hot chocolate there. And another really cute little spring summer dish. Very pretty. And made in China. <laughs> and this one also was kind of interesting. It was also made in China, but I thought that was interesting. It was a leaf. I think three leaves together, but uh, made one big leaf, I guess. But um, yeah, it was, it was an interesting piece, that's for sure. <laughs> And then just some more bowls on the bottom there, just made in China. And this pot, I keep looking at this. This is the second time I picked this up on a separate trip. I've seen it before too. And I couldn't find any comps. I searched and searched and couldn't find any comps on it, but I thought it was really pretty. Their teapots were actually really, really gorgeous. Really nice, some really pretty ones. And some more of the glass bowls we're getting into now. Oh, and this teapot here, but it was made in China, but that was really pretty. Um, yeah, so anyways, back into some more of the glasses and dishes. This was really pretty. I checked the comps on that, and that was selling for, or sold for 20 So I did pick that up. That went in the cart. I went back for it. I thought this was a really pretty cake platter with beautiful colors on it. Very nice. So I'm usually just checking for crystal or just anything that's unique. That's pretty. These are mainly the glass bowls. This one was gorgeous. And then off to the little bags that they have for the home decor, just to see if there's anything interesting. Sometimes you can find some really cool stuff in there. So I just thought I'd take a, oh, there's Phantom of the Opera. Just thought I'd take a quick peek, see if there was anything good in any of these little baggies. But I didn't really find anything to call home, to call home about this time around. Just some random stuff. 
some little knickknacks. That's about it there. And I thought this was the cutest thing. I love this. It was a Sesame Street cookie jar. Look at this, you guys. Isn't this cute for only $6.99? It's Hooper Store. Isn't that cute? I just thought that was adorable. Look at that. Mint condition, except for one little chip right on the corner there on the chimney there. But other than that, isn't that adorable? I would have picked that up. If that was easier to ship, I would have picked that up for sure because that is that is unique. That is one of a kind. I thought that was just so cute. And then off to the furniture department. Found this table. It looked like it was vintage for only $8.99. I thought actually that was a great deal for that table. And then just some other stands and chairs that they had. They also had this end table. It was, I believe, $11.99. That wasn't too, too bad. I kind of like the design on that. That was pretty cool. That looked like it was vintage 70s, I think. And just some more chairs. And this was cool. Somebody wrote a Mary Kay sign. We are open on Saturdays. Um, have a nice day. Have a great day. It looks like they do haircuts and stuff. <laughs> Somebody was having fun. That shelf was actually kind of cool. Looked like bricks. I thought that was kind of neat. Just some more chairs. There was a cool little computer desk there. I thought that was kind of neat. Kind of a space saver desk. That was nice. And just some more shelving, random shelves. And yeah, there's some filing cabinets. And then off to the toy department to see if we can find anything interesting and good to resell in the toy department. So we found a few trucks there. There's a monster truck and just some more vehicles, just some random cars. Nothing that really caught my eye too much. There was some Star Wars, but I think that was newer Star Wars. Nothing, nothing really vintage out of there or interesting that I could see. So Darth Maul, I think that's been there actually for quite a while. And just some more random toys just laying around like I kind of looks kind of weird. And then I always check the little baggies as well because I do have a lot of luck selling on Mark, on Facebook Marketplace the little pet shop. Anything little pet shop, people just love. I have um, really good luck flipping that very quickly and uh, very for a great profit too usually so I'm always looking for them in those little baggies then we thought we'd just take a quick peek at the stuffies to see if there was anything interesting or good that we could resell as well just a little cat there I think it moved it didn't have batteries in it but I think it walked and there's a stuffed mini thought she was kind of cute and just some other random ones. There's a random little unicorn guy there. And just some more stuff. I thought I'd just do some digging to see if there was anything interesting. And this was kind of weird, kind of a knitted little clown doll. And then I found this lurking in the corner. Oh my, oh, what is that? That is, oh, who would give that to a kid? That would give you nightmares. That would give me nightmares. Oh, I don't know what that thing was. If anybody knows what that was, put it in the comments below. <laughs> and then I found this Noah's Ark. I thought this was actually cute. All the pieces were there. I checked the comps and the comps weren't really that great on it. Um, I think it sold for about $12 or so. So just not a lot of room to wiggle on that. But I thought it was really, really nice. Really nice. And then off to one of my favorite departments, the purse department. I found this coach purse. That was in pretty good condition, but ooh, $30, no thank you. Then I found this uh, Polo Ralph Lauren. I don't know if that was authentic or not. I'm gonna say it probably was a knockoff, probably not, but it was a nice purse. And then I'm always checking to see if there's any brand names that I can find for a good deal that's cheap because I have come across authentic purses for a really, really good deal. So I'm always, always digging and checking just to see. There's a Matinat purse. That's a, a very popular vegan brand, but $20, ugh. No, thank you, but uh, yeah. If it was cheaper, I would have grabbed it. And just some random purses, guests. There's a guest purse. It was uh, kind of had some 
wear and tear on that and yeah nothing nothing too much that caught my eye this time around there's a Tommy Hilfiger one but yeah nothing that great and then we went to Value Village number two our second stop this one was really busy so I wasn't able to get too much footage in here I did take a quick peek at the movies and see if there was anything um, popular or good for resale value there was nothing I checked the games there was nothing as far as video games either um, then I went and took a peek at some of their little knickknacks there's some cute salt and pepper shakers there and a little teapot I think that was a little owl that one was gorgeous with the flowers and I found this oh wow I love butterflies they're like my favorite things so that came home with me and then this thing here, I wasn't quite sure what this was. I'm assuming it was homemade, but yeah, it was different, that's for sure. And just some other random serving bowls. This bowl's been there forever, since before Christmas. And there was another nice plate there, very beautiful, very pretty. And this pot was really nice as well, it was in good condition. And that's just kind of a vintage Frosted Flakes cup. And then, oh, this was actually really, really cool for, I think it would be for a bar or an office. I don't know, but it was like a little dispenser and it was a globe. Very cool. Okay, so we are back home now. What a day of thrifting. Look at all the goodies. <laughs> So let's get to it. I'm going to go through all this stuff. There's so much to go through. So I'm going to go through each bag and show you exactly what we picked up. It was a very good thrift day for sure. So I'm going to have to break down this haul into two separate sections here. There's just way, way too much stuff to fit on my table right now. So I'll show you this stuff and then I'll pause the video and then I'll grab all the other stuff to show you. There's just way too much. It was a very healthy haul. Um, we did actually end up stopping at two value villages. So the first one, you saw the footage, that was the main one we stopped at. And then we stopped at another one, but I wasn't able to get too, too much footage there because it was so busy. We got there in the afternoon and it was just so, so busy and it was so hard to film. So I only got a little bit of footage in that one, but I'll show you what I picked up at both of them. And we also did a quick stop at Goodwill as well. Um, so I will show you a couple of the items that I purchased there as well. That one, I didn't do any footage because they were only allowing about 10 people in the store at a time. So it was just basically a really quick visit, picked up a couple items and then we left. So definitely I will do a Goodwill video coming up here shortly. It's just right now they're only allowing 15% capacity into the store right now. So unfortunately they're only allowed so many people. So we had to just make a quick visit and we had to leave. But I will do one. We'll go to a bigger Goodwill and I'll do a Goodwill one. So, But anyways, without further ado, let us get started. I'll show you what I picked up. So this is going to be all the Value Village stuff first. So the first item here are these beautiful, beautiful dishes. This was actually at the second Value Village that we stopped at. I just thought these were gorgeous. So these ones here, I'm actually going to be keeping for ourselves. Um, we do sell some items on Facebook Marketplace right now. Um, I will eventually be opening a eBay store. I'm just kind of getting started with all that and kind of just starting to get it opened and get it going. So once it is started and up and running, I will definitely let you guys know. Uh, but for right now, I'm just doing Facebook Marketplace. So this is actually gonna be a keeper. So I'm actually keeping this for ourselves. And I just thought these were just beautiful. So they were $12.99 for the set and there's 10. So there's seven dinner plates. As you can see, they're just beautiful. And then, unfortunately, there was only three of the smaller plates. So maybe like, eventually I can find some more of these. Um, these were actually just, I'll show you the back here. So they're just made in China. So nothing, nothing spectacular about them. I just love the design. I thought they were just so pretty. So that's going to be a keeper. So that'll be in our house. The next thing I found was actually this beautiful bowl. I'm not sure if it's real crystal or not. I did check the comps on this. It's made in Germany 
and it's by Walther Glass. And it's just beautiful with the little roses. Just a beautiful dish. And like I said, I did check the comps on it. And some of them sold actually on eBay for $20. So for $3.99. And actually we had a coupon as well. We had a 20% off coupon because we donated. So actually it would have been $3.99 minus 20% off. And yeah, so they sold on eBay for about $20. Just a beautiful dish. So I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep this for myself yet or if I'm going to list this. I'm not quite sure yet because I really, really like it. And then this bowl here. I just loved, loved the colorings on it. Just beautiful. It doesn't have any markings on the back, but um, I just loved, loved the colors. The browns and the blues and the greens. Just a beautiful, beautiful dish. So I thought I'd keep that actually for myself, <laughs> which most of the stuff is going to be keep for myself. But anyways, I just thought this will be pretty and beautiful um, on my coffee table come maybe spring, summer, just some nice spring, summer colors just to brighten things up. I just thought it was really pretty. And then another thing here, I got a beautiful little teapot. I love butterflies. So once I seen this on the shelf, I had to grab it. This was at the Second Value Village. And this one was $5.99 as well. And I'll just lift it up so you can get a better look at it. There we go. Isn't that pretty? It's got the little butterfly on the top there, the other side too. And I'll just actually try and flip it over. It's nothing special. I think actually it looks like it's got some remnants there of a winner's <laughs> sticker so I don't think it's vintage or anything like that I just thought it was beautiful it was really really pretty so so I picked that up another thing here is I purchased this little apple decor item I just thought it was really cute I actually have a big apple it's kind of like a a brownish color one so this will look actually really cute right beside it so I'll have the two apples so like that and then you saw this little elephant on the shelf I had to pick this up it's kind of a yellowish kind of a dull yellow color I guess I don't know if the camera's picking the color of it but I just thought it was beautiful it doesn't have any nicks or anything any uh, destruction on it at all it's no chips or anything like that it's actually really really pretty really like the design I love the design on the back just really, really cute. Just a nice little decor item. I love that it's elephants. I love collecting animal type of like safari items like giraffes and elephants and stuff like that. I like that too. All right, so that's kind of it for kind of like the decor kind of items. And then let's move over to this, these kind of electronic type of things here and gaming things. So we just actually recently acquired a Wii. We're getting into the retro gaming right now, which is super, super hot right now and popular. So we just picked up a Wii not too long ago. So we're just acquiring some Wii accessories. So we got the little gun there, and that was $1.99 for that, minus the 20 off. And then we got just one of these longer type of rifles too, the guns for the Wii remote to play. So we got that, and that one was, oh, that one's a little bit pricey. That was $7.99, wow. That's a little bit pricey for a piece of plastic, but anyways and then we picked up some pokemon books we've been actually picking up a whole bunch of pokemon stuff since all the craze with the pokemon cards lately and the unboxings and stuff like that we actually try and pick up as much pokemon stuff that we can find it is very hard to find uh, so when we do find it we do pick it up and so the next thing is we have the he-man masters of the universe dvd it's best of and it's a 10 episode collector's edition. We thought this was super, super cool. We probably will actually end up selling this. We'll probably sell it on eBay once the store is set up. We'll probably put that on there. But isn't that cool? And the discs, we checked the discs, they're in mint condition. No scratches or anything like that. So yeah, that was a super cool find there. And then I also collect Disney movies. So I didn't, for some reason, I didn't have Mulan in my Disney collection, so I decided to pick it up. The, the discs are actually in mint condition. It's a really good copy. 
So I thought I better pick that up because you usually don't see Milan <laughs> anywhere in the thrift store. So I thought I better pick that up. And then the next item, I'll just go down here first, is I actually, in their showcase at the Second Value Village, they had a DS light. And actually, I've been looking for one. I want to get one kind of on a good deal. Like I said, we've been getting into the retro gaming lately, and I just wanted to get a little handheld. I didn't want to spend, you know, two to three hundred dollars on a switch or a DS uh, switch, the switch light or anything like that. I didn't want to spend that kind of cash on it. So I thought if I could pick up, you know, a 3DS or a DS light or anything like that, I would definitely pick one up. And I found one. It's actually in really, really good condition. It was a little bit on the pricey side. It was $40, but it did come with the cable, the charging cord, which was awesome. And yeah, and it's like a pearly pink color, which I love because my favorite color is pink. So this was amazing, amazing find. I love that I found that. And then they had this Garfield game. <laughs> I just picked it up just so I had a game to play on it and test it out and it does work. So there we go. It's just Garfield's Fun Fest on DS. So I will keep this because it'll be for my DS. And it was $7.99. Our games are a little bit on the pricey side when we thrift for them. So. And then to go along with our retro gaming, we do actually, we just picked up a PlayStation 2 not too long ago as well. So we got a little bundle here for $5.99. We got a PlayStation 2 memory card and a N64 memory card because we actually just picked up an N64 not too long ago as well. So that'll come in handy. So those are keepers. I think most of the stuff on this table is hardly a keeper and not selling, which is terrible. But anyways, and then I think the last thing for right now is I collect Funko Pops. So I found this Naruto little guy here, Funko Pop, just in a baggie. He was $3.99. So whenever I see Funko Pops, I definitely pick them up for my collection. So he was just loose in the bag, but he looks like he's in pretty good shape. So that'll go in the collection. So yeah, I think most of this stuff here will be a keeper. So let me clear all this off and I will put all the other items on and I'll show you, um, I think most of the other stuff is toys. So stay tuned for that. So I still didn't have enough room to add my Goodwill stuff. So I'll have to do Goodwill after I do all this. I need a bigger table, I think. But before I start with uh, the stuff that's on the table, I just wanted to show you this coat I picked up. It was at, um, I can't remember if it was at the First Value Village. I think it was at the First Value Village. And it's in mint condition. I don't even know if anybody wore it. It's just an Old Navy winter coat. And it was $21.99 minus the 20% off. So, but look at this. It's like in mint, mint condition. So just love it, love it, love it. All right, so let's get going on this stuff. I'll just put toss that on the couch. All right, so let's get started on the table here. I'm gonna do the stuff that's at the front of the table so I can show you the back stuff because it's gonna be too hard to get back there with all this stuff in the front. So over here, we're gonna start with these little Pokemon bags. Like I said, if we ever find Pokemon stuff, we actually, we pick it up just with it being so hot right now. Um, definitely something we can sell on eBay um, or something that we can sell on Facebook Marketplace. It's just so hot right now. So anything Pokemon, like I said, it's hard to find, but we do pick it up. So there's these two little bags, each worth $3.99. And it's some kind of a, a card game, rummy card game. So there we go, there's the side. I guess it comes in a little case. Some kind of cards in there. It's hard to see, but. And then there was actually a package. It looks like an unopened package of magic cards. So you can definitely sell those as well. Most of the stuff on the table right now is going to be sold. So basically this one too, and look at actually, somebody was selling it for $8.99. So we just picked up two, it's the exact same thing. It has the magic cards on the back as well. So we just picked up two of those packages. I'm just gonna put that on the ground. And then we picked up a bag of Lego for only $2.99. Usually when we find bags of Lego, and this is actual, actual Lego, it's not Mega Blocks or anything like that, we double checked. Whenever we find these bags of Lego, they're always at least $10, at least $9.99. So when we found this for $2.99, we thought, wow, what a deal. Because Lego is another awesome thing that people buy. <laughs> We've sold so many Lego lots on Facebook Marketplace. 
it's, it's, a, it's a hot item. So Lego is a good thing to find, especially when you can find it super cheap. So basically we wait until we get a whole lot and then we sell it as a lot. So that's what we do with the Lego. Put that down. This actually goes with the items in the back, so I'll wait for that. Um, and then let's see what else can we find. Actually, let's do the stuff in the front here. So this is actually all these little vehicles and that. These are all actual Playmobil items. We do have a person on Facebook Marketplace that we deal with all the time. Whenever we find play, uh, Playmobil items, we uh, basically get a whole bunch of it together and then we let him know. And he's a collector, so yeah, so we sell it to him, and he's happy, we're happy, we get the stuff at a good deal, and uh, we make a little bit of money, <laughs> so yeah, it works out great. So we've got a contact, which is awesome to have. So I'll just show you what we picked up. So we got this fire truck for $4.99, and it's actually in pretty good condition. Oh, we're just missing a little... Looks like a little hubcap there, that's okay. I think that should be okay. And then a little police vehicle for $2.99. There's that. And then another item for $2.99. It looks like it's maybe a, I don't know, is that a, a Brinks car? I'm not sure what that is. Well, it looks like it's a money vehicle. And then there's this item here. I'll just open it up. I think it's just like a little, a little cafe, a little coffee shop that you could play with. Very cool. And that one was like $3.99. Yeah, $3.99 for that. And then we just got a bag of random stickers. In there. So if that was $6.99, that was a little bit on the pricey side. Whenever you do find these Playmobil figures, they're always expensive. Very, very expensive. So I guess $6.99 isn't too bad, it's still too bad. And then there was this set too for $5.99. I think it's a knight. Looks like a knight. Where is it? There he is. And then it just comes with a horse. Oh, looks like there's a little carriage there. So, yeah, so I think he's complete. Just a little set, and he comes with instructions, so maybe he's complete. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to open that up and see. And then this item here, we're not quite sure what this is. It is Playmobil as well, but let me just move these out of the way so I can show you this. Maybe somebody will know what it is. And it just opens up. I think it might have to do, maybe it's like, it's a, it's a uh, fire... Firehouse, fire, I'm not even quite sure what it is. Fire station, because it kind of goes sideways. And it's got this here. So maybe that's the pole? I'm not quite sure. So yeah, if anybody knows what that is, let us know in the comments below. Not quite sure, but still, it looks like a cool little carrying case. You could put your guys in there and see, there's a, there's a, fire alarm so I don't know it was $3.99 anyway so okay so let's put all that down so I can show you the stuff at the back here so the first thing we have is from Toy Story and it's Zerg from Toy Story and I checked the comps on this one and we purchased him for $6.99 and the latest comp is that he sold for $40 on eBay so not a bad purchase on that and he's actually really cool he Oh, he lights up. Let me just do that again. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so like I said, the latest comps is 40 bucks. So that's not too bad of a deal. So we're going to actually sell him as well. And then the last few items from Value Village, and then I'll show you my Goodwill stuff is some littlest pet shop items and these whenever i find littlest pet shop items i always pick them up they sell like hot cakes here on facebook marketplace i list it i usually get lots of the uh, figurines and i can sell them within a day or two it's 
you wouldn't believe the people that contact me on them. So whenever I find Liz Pet Shop items, I always, always pick them up because they're such an easy sale. So this first item here, it was $5.99. And it just looks like it's a little house, I think. There's a little tree there and it's got like a little spinny thing. But it does open up. I think it is a house is what it is. Let me just open it up. Isn't that cute? It's got like a little... A little tire swing there and another little basket that they could sit in and it goes up and down isn't that a cute little playset I thought that was super super cute so yeah so that's that one there Oops. that was $5.99 minus the 20 off there's the back of it if you're wondering and then the other one is he was inside of it but I don't think he goes with it somebody from Paw Patrol. But anyways, so this is the other one. And it's a little boat. It's a little ship. Isn't that cool? And actually it opens up as well. It needs this one needs a big cleaning. But other than that, isn't this cute? It's a little boat. I'll show you inside here. So you could do a little show there, and this opens up. And that looks like Maybe it's a little washroom. <laughs> and yeah, and then this is the little sleeping area. I'll just spin it around, it opens up. And looks like it's a little sleeping area with little beds. So isn't that adorable? And this one was, let's see, $4.99 minus the 20 off. So not too bad of a deal on those two. And then I grabbed a bag, and there are a few of the little pet shop little guys in here. Usually I can find a whole bag of them, but I don't know. Lately they've been separating them all, so I've only been able to find bags with a couple in there. So there are a few in there. That one. And there's one here. There's a little monkey. So, yeah, there's a few items in here. Plus there's this little guy here. One of the vinyls. I think these, I'll have to double check the comps on these, but I think these ones are actually, go for a little bit of cash too, these vinyl uh, figures that have the little Mickey Mouse ears from Disneyland. I believe these are made from Funko as well, the vinyls. So I'll have to double check this guy. But um, yeah, so there's a couple in there and I'll just have to keep looking for them. Like I said, anytime that I find them, I always pick them up because they're an easy, easy sale. For sure. So it must be a really popular thing right now is the Littlest Pet Shop because, yeah, it sells it crazy. So, all right. So I will grab my Goodwill stuff and I'll show you what I grabbed at Goodwill. All right. So this is the last of it. <laughs> thank you so much. If you have stayed around this whole time, I so appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So like I said, this Goodwill, they're only allowing a certain amount of people in at a time. So this was just a quick little visit in and out see if there's anything I really liked and we were gone so I did pick up a few things I picked up these cute little copper glasses I don't know if you can tell that they're they, they are copper colored so two of them they were each a dollar fifty I thought those were super cool I really like those and then we picked up we needed a new blu-ray player so it was only $12.50 and it came with the remote. Usually when you pick up DVD players, <laughs> they don't come with the remotes. So that was a nice, nice uh, surprise that it did come with a remote. So we did need a new one and this was a Samsung. So it's it's good model. So we're going to try it out, make sure it works. We did plug it in at the store there just to make sure that the power came on and the, the, the drawer came out. So it was working so far. So we'll have to hook it up to the TV and see if it works. But Goodwill has a good uh, exchange policy. You have seven days for electronics. If they don't work, you can uh, bring it back for store credit or exchange, so which is great. And then the last thing we found was this cool guy, Rocket Ralph. Isn't this cool? So $6.50. And you would not believe it when we were in the store. There's a couple of people that were kind of chasing after us to see if we were going to put him down or not because they wanted him. One lady wanted him for her daughter, another lady wanted him, and they were just kind of eyeing us to see if we were going to put him down or not, but he was coming home with us. <laughs> so we have actually a movie room downstairs. 
um, which we have a whole bunch of movie related items. So he's actually going to stay with us. We are not selling him. We're going to keep him and put him in uh, our movie area and on our shelf with some of our other movie related items. So I just want to show him to you though, because he's really cool. He actually talks, so you can push down on his arm. He says he's gonna wreck it. And then you can hit his chest and then he talks too. Let me just actually maybe put him down. I don't want him falling. That's a gremlin! Say away, it's a gremlin! Oops. <laughs> Come on, are you kidding? You sleep in, you do no work, then you go to tappers with me every night. I've literally just described paradise. Oh, you're my best friend. Start churning butter and put on your church shoes, little sister, because we're about to blast off. <laughs> so yeah, so he says a whole bunch of different things. So yeah, he's really cool. So that was a good find for six fifty. Like I said, people were after him. So it doesn't look like he wants to say, so I'll just keep him down there. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out if you're not subscribed already. And please give this video a thumbs up. It'll really help the channel. See more thrifting videos, more dollar store videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me today. And we'll see you all next time in the new video. Say bye, Ralph. I'm gonna